Upon opening the front door, I find my mother standing there, looking despondent. Six months ago, they began rebuilding our family home, and today was supposed to be the big moving day. Why was my mother, who should have been heading to her new home, standing at the doorstep of my and my husband's apartment? Mom, what happened? Why are you here? Well, you see. The truth she revealed was difficult to accept. My name is Kate, and I'm 28 years old. I've been married to Jason for almost two years, and we share an apartment together. My family includes my mother and my older brother. My father passed away from an illness six years ago, leaving my mother to live alone in our family home. My brother Sam got married three years ago and now enjoys a happy life with his wife, Monica. That day, on my father's Memorial Day, my husband and I, along with my brother and his wife, gathered at our family home. As we reminisced and honored my father's memory, my brother suddenly proposed an idea. Mom, why don't you come live with us? Eh? My mother was visibly taken aback by his unexpected suggestion. Live together. But Sam, you live with Monica. Yes, but you've been alone in this house ever since Dad passed away. And the house is getting old. Well, that's true, but... Noticing my mother's awkward reaction, I turned to my brother. Sam, are you serious? When you got married, didn't you and Monica want to enjoy your newlywed life alone? Which is why you moved into your current apartment. Yeah, that's true. But now that we've been married for a few years, I think it might be nice to rebuild our family home and all live together. Rebuild the family home and live together. Exactly. This house is getting pretty old. So, we'll rebuild it and then we can all live together with mom. I see, rebuilding the family home. I hadn't considered that. At first, I thought his suggestion was sudden and impractical, but perhaps he had given it more thought than I realized. My brother turned to her mother and said, Mom, we don't know what the future holds. I want to repay you for everything you've done for us. Will you come live with us? Our mother hesitated, unable to decide. Seeing her uncertainty, my brother gently reassured her. Don't worry, Mom. Monica is on board with this too. Monica is. Yes, she agrees with us living together. So please relax and let's do this. Well, if you both insist, maybe I should, she said, finally relenting. My sister-in-law chimed in, saying, please, happily agreeing to live with my mother. I felt relieved, thinking my mom would be comfortable living with my brother and his wife. I was grateful to my brother for considering my mother's well-being. With my mother's financial assistance in funding the reconstruction, the decision was made for her to move in with my brother and his wife, and so it was decided that our family home would be rebuilt. The new house is finally ready, my brother announced. Today marks the day my mother moves in with my brother and his wife. While preparing breakfast, I received a call from my mother. Oh, Kate, sorry to bother you so early. No problem. What's going on? In response to my question, my mother chuckled. What's going on? Today's the big moving day. I'm so excited. I understand now. Mom, you're really excited about this, aren't you? Absolutely. Just the thought of living with my own child fills me with joy. And now we have a new house too. Can I really be this happy? It feels like a dream, my mother exclaimed, her voice brimming with happiness. After chatting for a while, my mother set off for her new home. It must have been around noon when the intercom rang. Hello? Ha, huh, Mom? I opened the door to find my mother looking crestfallen. Today was moving day. She should have been settled into her new home by now. So why was she here? Perplexed, I asked her, Mom, what's wrong? My mother hung her head, remaining silent. Sensing something was amiss, I prodded her further. Mom, today's moving day, isn't it? Why are you here? Well, I was asked to leave. Huh? Asked to leave. But Sam should be at work since this morning, right? It wasn't Sam. It was Monica. What? Monica told Mom to leave. Is this some kind of joke? My sister-in-law, who had happily agreed to live with Mom. Why? Hold on, hold on. This has to be a joke, right? Monica agreed to live with Mom, didn't she? I thought she did too, but when I got to the new house, she suddenly said, I can't live with you. Please leave. What? What's going on? When I heard the details, the story sounded unbelievable. After handing over her belongings to the movie company, my mother went to the new house where my brother's wife was already there. Upon seeing my mother, she blurted out, I can't live with you. You need to leave. Why would you say such a thing?
My mother's question was met with a frown from my brother's wife, she retorted. Having an elderly person in our brand new house will ruin the atmosphere. If my husband's mother is here, we won't be able to enjoy our married life properly. I couldn't believe it. On the day she moved into the home we had rebuilt with the understanding that she would live with her mother, she was being asked to leave. I was seething with anger at my sister-in-law's words and actions. My mother looked completely disheartened, slumped on the sofa. Unable to bear the sight, I dialed my brother's number. Hey, big brother. Kate, what's going on? This isn't just a casual chat. What in the world is your wife thinking? Taken aback by my tone, my brother asked, what? What's happened? It seemed he was unaware of anything his wife had said or done. Big brother, listen up. Mom is here at my place. Huh? Mom, but today is moving day, right? Why is she at your place? It's because of Monica, your wife. What did Monica do? That's exactly what I'm saying. She kicked mom out. What? You must be joking. I explained the situation to my startled brother, relaying what our mother had told me. After hearing the story, my brother let out a deep sigh. Good grief, why would Monica do something like that? I want to know too. Mom was really excited about living with you guys, you know. And now this. Anyway, when I get home, I'll have a talk with Monica. Can you look after Mom until then? Look after her? No, Mom will stay with us. She's made it clear she doesn't want to see Monica anymore. I couldn't contain my emotions and ended up scolding my brother. He muttered an apology. I understand. Yeah. The call with my brother ended on an awkward note. I quickly summarized the situation to my husband via email and filled him in when he returned home. The next day, my brother called again. Kate. Big brother, did you have a proper talk with Monica? As soon as I confronted him, my brother replied, Yeah, I did. He then proceeded to recount the details of their conversation from the previous night. Monica insists that mom left on her own. What? Are you serious? Are you suggesting mom's not telling the truth? No, that's not what I meant. I don't think mom would lie either. Although irritated by my brother's indirect response, I said, well, I made it clear to Monica, mom isn't someone who would lie. And that's when she finally told the truth. The truth? It would be inconvenient to have mom around now that we finally have a new house. Eventually, when we have kids, it'll be even more crowded. Let's just enjoy this place with just the two of us. I knew it. I'm sorry, Kate. Just as you suspected, she asked mom to leave. I'm really sorry. I didn't know how to respond to my tearful brother. It wasn't fair to blame him, but I couldn't help feeling angry. What do you plan to do now? You're not seriously considering living happily with just the two of you, are you? Actually, I have an idea. An idea? Then my brother unveiled a certain plan to me, revealing a depth of care for our mother that I hadn't fully realized. It was a scheme I could never have conceived on my own. If successful, it would not only serve as retribution against my sister-in-law, but also ensure our mother's happiness. I just need a little more time. I'm certain Monica will reach out to you in a few days. I readily agreed to my brother's request. Got it. I'll inform mom. The rest is up to you, big brew. Exactly, you can count on me. I briefed my mother and husband about my brother's plan and started making preparations. Surprisingly soon after, my smartphone rang, and it was my sister-in-law on the line. Hello. Oh. A uh, hi, Kate. My sister-in-law sounded frantic over the phone, her breaths coming in rapid bursts. Sis, what's wrong? I asked her pointedly, and an irritated voice snapped back. Just put your mother on the phone, please. Well, that's not possible. Mom doesn't seem keen on speaking with you, Monica. Don't say that. It's not about that right now. What do you mean? Regardless, I want your mother to return. Tell her we should live together again. Fully aware of the situation, I confronted her. What's with the sudden change of heart? Weren't you the one who pushed mom away, Monica? Yes, but things have changed. I'm in trouble if your mother doesn't return. Why is that? That's not your concern, Kate. My sister-in-law continued to dodge my questions, so I pushed back. Sis, it must be tough facing pressure for my brother to divorce you. My sister-in-law's voice trembled as she asked, How did you find out? Well, we're family, so I heard it from my brother beforehand. He's contemplating divorce under certain conditions. So, okay, you and Sam are trying to. We're not trying to set you up. We just want you to reflect on your actions. No. I don't want to. I married Sam to be a stay-at-home wife. 
That's it. My brother's plan was to put an end to his wife's idle lifestyle. My sister-in-law had always aspired to be a stay-at-home wife, and when she married my brother, she insisted on it. My brother, with his high income and love for his wife, agreed and allowed her to stay at home. But over time, she became negligent. Her housework and cooking were lackluster, and my brother was struggling. Along with the incident of driving out my mother, my brother's patience had reached its limit. He demanded his wife find work using the loan repayment for the rebuilding as justification. If you don't start earning, we're getting a divorce, he told her. Why should I have to work? She shrieked loudly over the phone. I finally achieved my dream of being a stay-at-home wife after getting married. I refuse to give up my current lifestyle. Provokingly, I replied to my emotional sister-in-law. Well, originally my mother was going to contribute to the rebuilding funds. But since he drove her out, now it's on you to cover the costs, isn't it? Don't be absurd. Why should I have to work? Just send your mother back here. Everything will be sorted if she returns. That's not possible. Mom refuses. What did you just say? That's enough. I scolded my sister-in-law. Ultimately, isn't it your fault for kicking my mother out? You initially agreed to live together. But once mom moved in, suddenly she's in the way. Don't think you can manipulate the situation. The world doesn't revolve around you. If you won't accept my mother, then you'd better be prepared to work yourself to the bone to prevent a divorce from my brother. My mother must have heard my heated exchange as she snatched the smartphone from my hand. Monica, it's me. Oh, mom, what are you doing? Please come back quickly. Sorry, but I won't be returning there. I won't contribute to the rebuilding, and I'll never be involved with you again. So please, don't come near me again. Mom. Ignoring my sister-in-law's excuses, my mother ended the call abruptly. Ah, that felt good for the first time in a while. I'm done dealing with that daughter-in-law. My mother must have seen my sister-in-law's true colors after being forced out. She effectively disowned her. Meanwhile, my brother kept repeating, If you don't find a job by the end of this month, we're getting divorced. My sister-in-law must be feeling desperate. Initially adamant about never working, she started job hunting immediately when faced with divorce papers from my brother. However, her significant work gap made it challenging to find a job in her preferred field. Kate, please lend me some money. At this rate, we'll end up divorced. Please help me. If your mother-in-law comes back, everything will be sorted out. Please. Lately, messages like these have been popping up on my smartphone. Naturally, I haven't responded at all. I have no desire to assist her now. Ultimately, my sister-in-law's job search ended in failure. Just the other day, the divorce was finalized and she was apparently ousted by my brother. Meanwhile, my mother continues to reside with my husband and me. Despite the occasional disagreement that arises from our previous living separately, being near my actual mother remains a source of joy. Kate, I'm craving barbecue today. What, Mom? Isn't that tough on your stomach? My stomach can handle it just fine. Jason will be home early today, won't he? Let's have a beer together. Sure, but don't overdo it. I won't? In fact, my mother seems even happier than before. With my husband also looking out for her, our home is filled with laughter. On a personal note, I've just discovered that I'm pregnant. I plan to share the news with my mother tonight at the patio party. I'm certain she'll be overjoyed. Moving forward, I'm looking forward to sharing blissful days with my husband, my mother, and our unborn child.